You have heard it before. Scoring starts from 100 yards and in. So your goal should be to have enough options in your bag to handle any distance or condition you're faced with. Let's explore as we check out the best wedges for 2016. If you're playing on conditions like, say, you have really soft, fluffy sand, light sand, then you have a tendency to use more bounce. So the club has a little bit more resistance to digging and burying. Same way if the turf is soft. If the turf is, is, is soft, uh, then you use a little more bounce, a little wider sole. If the turf is firm or the sand is packed, high, you know, large grain packed sand, then you might use a little less bounce that, because the, the, the turf itself offers some resistance to digging. Callaway has one of the best wedge designers in the business, working with one of the best wedge players of all time. What we have new is the PM, Phil Mickelson's wedge in a black matte finish. It's muted, it doesn't reflect sun, uh, which is very cool. Holes in the head, which actually raises the CG because we added real estate up here. It adds spin, and uh, as Phil has three in his bag, you might want to consider that as well. Jose Miraflor of Cobra is no stranger to grinding wedges himself. New for 2016 in April, we're launching the new King Wedge Series. The first one, the all-around, the versatile wedge, comes in at 50 all the way to 60 degrees, features the iconic sole uh, notch grind here, but with a trailed away uh, heel and a trailed away toe. The classic, it's a classic grind. Not much done in the back, just a soft bevel in the back. Lots of leading edge radius to prevent you from digging. Great from firm ground conditions. And then there's the wide low, a brand new wedge for us. A wide low is great for softer turf, softer bunkers. Again, 56, 58, 60 degrees. Three different configurations to help you fine tune your wedge game and score even lower. When Titleist Bob Vokey talks, we all listen. My team, they turned around and we come up with some ideas. They ran them by me. We, we said, okay, let's try it. We did a lot of R&D testing, take them out on PJ Tour and all the testing and feedback. We've come up with what we do, I call it, we call it a CG, progressive CG. We're able to align the CG behind the proper ball for proper contact with the ball, which in turn allows the player to work the ball, do what he wants instead of the club controlling him. And to be fit for the right grind for their particular swing speed, whether the diggers, sliders, or the ability to hit all the different shots around the green. We have five different grinds in the SM6 that gives them the ability to do so. King has always made great wedges, and they've had a ton of success with their Glide family. So we've done really well with the, the three existing options we have, the wide sole, standard sole, thin sole, which is a kind of recognition that everyone swings a wedge differently and everyone wants something a little bit different out of their wedge. But what we've added to it, which we're really excited about, is the ES, the I sole. Two of the things that really made it unique were this two-tiered sole, which makes it really versatile. You have kind of a thin, front edge, but then as you open it up, you've got kind of a, a wider sole at the back. And so it's really, really versatile. On the other side, it's got a very skinny puzzle to it that necks down here. That really helps as you're going through sand. And that's part of what made it one of the best bunker pubs ever. So if you're struggling in a bunker, you want some help out of the sand, the ES really works well. One of the oldest and most trusted names in the game is Wilson. Anyone who has played them loves their FG Tour wedges. Brand new for this year, the FG Tour PMP wedges. PMP stands for Precision Milled Performance, which incorporates three things. One is our brand new high value, high volume HM grooves for maximum spin on full shots. 11 laser etched micro spin lines between each of those grooves generate maximum spin on partial shots, that little half wedge, if you will. Features three sole grinds, traditional, tour grind and wide sole and two different finishes, our tour satin finish as well as gun blue PVD. TaylorMade knows that the way a wedge looks seriously impacts how it plays. Sometimes all of the tech just needs a little tweak. For 2016, we are launching a, a new chrome finish in our EF wedge line. We launched this club last year. It's been very successful. We launched it in this dark PVD finish, and this, this year we're bringing our chrome finish uh, into the market. Our, our EF wedge line is the, the wedge that has an electroformed nickel cobalt face plate in it. Very wear resistant uh, groove plate in the face that, that enhances spin and control. Some of the other great wedges out there, 
Bridgestone has two different finishes for their J15 line of forged wedges, satin chrome and black oxide. The new S5 wedges from Mizuno feature what they call their silhouette profile. It's a softer version of the teardrop shape. The S5 looks square to the target line no matter how much the face is opened or closed. It's also available in blue. Cleveland Golf has always been a leader in wedge technology. The traditional RTX 588 line has a less traditional partner for this year. The Smart Soul S and Smart Soul C encourage you to look at those same old shots in a different way. The artists from Edel are ready to custom make you just about anything you want. With perfect balance and optimal bounce, Edel wedges are all made right here in the USA. All of this talk about grooves and grinds, soles and spin can be confusing. Your local PGA professional can give you plenty of answers to make your short game struggles short-lived.